In the United States, approximately 10 million people receive medication to treat depression. And unfortunately, roughly 20 to 30 percent of these people won't improve even after trying a couple of different medications. An Yang looks at other options for these patients. So what other treatment options are out there to help with this kind of issue? Well, psychiatrist Dr. Joshua Weiner joins us now to tell us more about some of these lesser known treatment options that may help. Uh, thanks for joining us. So we've often heard about the importance of certain lifestyle factors in helping treat mental health issues. You've certainly talked about them. What advice do you have for people who've tried a couple of different medications to treat depression, but aren't seeing a lot of improvement? So when it comes to lifestyle issues, I say two things in particular. One is that if you are actively using alcohol, you need to cut that out. So a lot of people think they drink because they're depressed when studies have actually shown you, you become depressed because of the drinking. Second issue is sleep. If you are not getting enough sleep, we know from studies that these antidepressant medications just don't work as well. So you've got to focus on the sleep. And then finally, I would say, if you've tried these medications under the care of a primary care physician and you haven't had success and you're still struggling, this is the time you absolutely need to see an expert. It's time to schedule with an, a psychiatrist. I've also heard about ketamine. It's a medication used in anesthesia. It sounds pretty serious, but it's known to show some help in treating depression. Can you talk more about that? Ketamine is one of the most exciting things that's happened in psychiatry, actually, in the last five years. It's really amazing. I would say for those patients in my practice who are really, really struggling with depression, they've tried several antidepressants. We call this treatment-resistant depression. They've tried a lot of things. They're not getting better. Ketamine is my go-to. So there's a nasal spray called S-ketamine or Spravato. That one does help. And it is FDA approved. I tend to lean more towards IV ketamine. So there are these ketamine infusions where you go typically twice a week for an hour with each session for a period of uh, three weeks. So it's a total of six sessions where you're going, you're getting an IV bag filled with some ketamine. This has been shown to help a lot of people with treatment resistant depression. So here's another treatment that I've not heard of, transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS. What is that? So TMS is a procedure where you're going and you're providing an electrical pulse or a magnetic pulse rather, not electrical, magnetic pulse to the left side of the brain. It's called the left dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, which is the part of the brain that's felt to be somewhat involved in causing and maintaining depression, and you're stimulating that part of the brain. Now, that activates certain neurons. We don't know exactly how and why this treatment works, but it too has been shown to be pretty effective. Now, when you read studies, you'll read that the response rate for treatment-resistant depression is anywhere from 20 to 70%. My experience with patients who have had it have not been as robust as those that I've seen with the ketamine. But one thing that's nice about TMS is that it often is covered by insurance. Okay, this last one, I think, could be controversial. A growing movement in psychiatry for the use of hallucinogenic drugs, such as magic mushrooms. I know there's a, there's a, a name for that, to treat depression. So what are your thoughts about that? And do you have any clinical experience with this type of treatment? So, you know, ketamine's been the the kind of the rage in psychiatry, I would say, over the last five years. I think that this is going to be the direction that psychiatry is going, actually, over the course of the next five or 10 years. So magic mushrooms or psilocybin, which is the, the active ingredient there, has been shown now in about seven studies to work rapidly and effectively for treating depression, working even better and more rapidly than antidepressant medications. Wow, some really interesting findings. Psychiatrist Dr. Joshua Weiner, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure, Ron.